Next question is from Randy Fit. When in a caloric defi- deficit, how quickly do you lose muscle? Does it depend on how big the deficit is? Yeah, well, the, the size of the deficit will make a big difference. How quickly we lose muscle, way too many factors wow. to consider to even come up and, with a, and, a number. And mm. uh, the, the, and the main one is your genetics. Yep. There's some people, I remember when I had an ex-girlfriend that was a competitor, and I remember that uh, the coach that was training her, they, they had a real hard time with getting her to lean out to where her abs, and they had to drop her to totally unhealthy places. Like she was like 900 calories and she was like 140 pound, 150 pound chick. So way, way low and unhealthy. And I would never advise this. Uh, and she, and she would just hang on to all of her muscle. Yeah. Like it would, it would take that extreme just to get her to shred like a couple pounds of body fat. And she would like lose no muscle. I am literally like, if I hit less than 2000 calories, it's like, I may, you might see on the scale, boom, I'll drop four or five pounds real quick. But then yeah. if I go test my body fat, half of it was muscle, half of it was fat. It's like just so genetically people's bodies are going to respond different to this too. So there's, there's so many other variables. And then the biggest one is that in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, it is. And then the other one is, uh, are you sending a muscle building signal to your body uh, that is effective and appropriate, right? So Good resistance training, a good routine for you, will send a very strong signal to the body that says, we need muscle. In that context, cutting calories typically means that your body will burn body fat and at least hold on to the muscle that you have. And in some rare cases, you might even build muscle while you're in a calorie deficit. So that's something you can do with your routine, right? So I like to, when people, when people are trying to get lean, what they tend to do is they go into calorie deficit and then what they do is they throw on top of that these Cardio. super high calorie burning workouts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's a great strategy. I, don't I think, think that's I think one of the best the opposite strat- is the best strategy. Yeah, I think one of the best strategies you can do is go into a, a very muscle building focused type routine and cut your calories because you want that muscle building signal as loud as possible. I, I love that advice. I used to say lift and train as if you're trying to build diet like you're trying to cut. Yes. So like you're training, which means long rest periods, heavy lifts, lift as if you were trying to put on muscle mass, mm-hmm. but then actually diet like you're trying to lean out. And so that, and I think the biggest mistake people make is what you're saying is they, they go to lean out and and they do everything. Yeah. And you, when you're already in a calorie deficit like that, the the body's already kind of freaking out that oh, we're not getting all the food that we were yeah, used should to. Should we pare muscle down? Let's see. Right, right. And then all of a sudden you go run on the treadmill. In addition to that, then it's like oh, this is where we're going. We're now becoming someone who needs to do cardio, and so paring down muscle is advantageous. So it does yep, that. Yep. So. I, I, yeah, I think that's the biggest mistake is when people go to a leaning out, they they do all the things that, that have been taught like to lean yeah. out, now, ex- burn a bunch of extra calories. Now, that being said, that also could mean that you just change the stimulus. So that doesn't necessarily mean that supersets aren't a great way to get lean. If the supersets are a great muscle building signal for you because it's a new novel stimulus, that might also be okay. But, I, the, but the same, uh, the thing that we said earlier applies whatever's going to get you to build the most muscle, do that in your training and then combine that with a calorie deficit. And that'll ma- that'll help you maintain as much muscle as possible. That's another great piece of advice. And I actually give this advice regardless if it's a bulk or a cut. Anytime I'm transitioning in my diet to like, okay, I'm going to decide I'm going to start bulking right now or, oh, I'm going to decide I'm going to start cutting. Yeah. I also change the, the, the weight training stimulus. So whatever my program, so like you're yeah. saying, if – Maybe I was on the middle of a five by five type of room, so a very strength building exercise. If I was on that and then I switched to a cut, well, then maybe I'll, I'll go to supersets and hypertrophy training yeah. because it's novel. And so sending that novel signal while also manipulating your calories should be hopefully enough to lean you out while also trying to hang on to as yeah. much muscle yeah, as possible. With, with resistance training, your goal is always to build muscle. I don't care what you're doing with your diet. It's always to build muscle. Why? Because when you're losing body fat, you want to hold on to your muscle. Of course, if you're trying to gain weight, you want to build muscle. Now, some people lift weights to burn body fat. That's wrong. Does that mean lifting weights or doing resistance training doesn't burn body fat? No, that's not true. It's one of the most effective ways to burn body fat. But the goal should be to build the side effect of which is a faster metabolism and more muscle, which burn more calories, which makes you get leaner. So the goal always, now this doesn't mean you'll build. So I don't want people to freak out and be like, I'm on a calorie deficit. I'm losing strength. What's well, going to happen? But your goal should always be to build regardless of what you're doing with your diet because at the very least, you'll hold on to more muscle by doing it that way. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.